Hey, this is Maddie B, and you're watching PhilippineNews.com. Sure, Matt. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here in Fremont today, especially with our, uh, our first responders from Alameda County, the fire chief, who we work with on a daily basis, and also Jane Storms, and also the Red Cross, who we partner with as well as we bring back up our communities after significant events. Um, as Kevin uh, mentioned, uh, El Nino is going to present some challenges, not only at PG&E, uh, but other first responders, uh, we, we really believe we're going to have a higher frequency of storm activity, especially in our southern part of our service territory. And um, my organization, which is Emergency Preparedness and Response, uh, was put together a couple years ago, and it was really to codify a lot of the infrastructure improvements, technology improvements, and control center operations improvements in gas and electric that PG&E has been working on for, for the last five years. And our, our mission is uh, to respond quickly, uh, safely, and to bring back our communities and our customers as quickly as possible after an event. You saw the SOP model presentation, or the presentation of El Nino with the SOP model, but that outage model really positions us well uh, as an event uh, were to come into our service territory like uh, Sunday evening and into Monday morning, that model allows us to pre-stage resources ahead of time so we have a really good idea on the amount of field resources we need to repair power lines and also field resources to respond to 911 calls as we work with our first responder team. So that SOP, SOP model is really an industry leading model and once you have outage prediction down um, have an, and you have resources in place, then it's really about safe execution to bring back the, the, the power on. One, one other area I want to mention quickly is, is the technology piece. And um, it used to be the uh, time when an outage occurred, uh, we would have to wait on our, our customers to call us and let us know that. Well, I know that, that changed when PG&E Im implemented smart meters. Now, when an outage occurs, we know within a minute or so uh, where, where that outage is and, and maybe where the most probable device that's out. So that also is another piece of technology along with the outage modeling that really gives us pinpoint information and we can respond quickly. Thank you. Thank you, Barry. Uh, Chief Call, you want to talk a little bit about the Alameda County Fire Department and kind of your role? I, I think some of it we could understand what your role is, but just kind of give us your sense. Sure. Good, uh, good afternoon. My name is Jim Call. I'm a division chief with the Alameda County Fire Department. Alameda County Fire Department covers all the unincorporated areas within Alameda County, and we also contract for service with a, a variety of cities, um, city of Emeryville, San Leandro, Dublin, Union City, Newark, and we also cover the Berkeley Laboratory and Livermore Laboratory. So we are the fire department, but we're an all-risk fire department. So that means not only do we just go on fires, we go on medicals, um, urban search and rescue, hazardous materials, whatever the, the hazard may be, we train for that. And in order to do that, we have to work with a, a lot of our partners, and especially for something like this, when we talk about a storm, uh, one of our main partners uh, is PG&E, uh, Public Works, the different cities, uh, flood control, the list goes on and on of all the people we have to work with. So uh, we, we break it up into really three phases, the planning phase, the response phase, and the recovery phase. So right now, uh, we're, we're working on this planning phase, so all of the fire departments and public agencies within Alameda County are doing the planning. That's where we're at now. We're talking to the, the cities and these different agencies that we all use to assist one another. For the actual response, we're also prepared for that. Uh, we have a wonderful system within Alameda County uh, that we, a mutual aid system. So if we, our service area is uh, experiencing a si significant event, we can call on other agencies to help us and we, we provide that reciprocation back if they're in need. And that also goes to a state level. Um, you see with a lot of the big fires we have, we call resources from all over the state to, to help mitigate the problem. 
So uh, in my job as a division chief, that's one of my assignments is planning and emergency preparedness. So um, that's why we're here today and we're, we're thankful to be here. Thank you. Thanks, Chief. Uh, Cynthia Shaw from the Red Cross. Good afternoon. So the American Red Cross is focused as well on the preparing for, responding to, and recovering from disasters. Uh, we do this in two ways. First, we focus on disaster readiness, and that is working with our partners. PG&E is one of our very much close partners as well as first responders, the police, the fire, throughout our jurisdiction in the planning phase so that when there is an incident, we're able to open shelters, provide lodging, food, and comfort in those times where people need a safe place to go. So that is one of our focuses. We also do a lot of work in exercising those plans because it's one thing to have a plan on a shelf, but unless you actually sit down and practice that plan, it, you don't know if it's gonna really work. So those are some of the readiness exercises that the Red Cross is doing in partnership with the fire police and our other corporate partners. The second part that we do is sharing information with the public about how they can personally prepare. A community is only as ready for a disaster as each of their local citizens have taken the time to make a plan and get a kit. So the Red Cross has a free emergency app as well as a free flood app. And in those apps, you can get weather alerts, so you know if there's a flash flood or a storm warning in your area, tips on how to assemble a kit, what you need in your disaster kit, as well as an I'm safe button, which you can, if you have to evacuate, and we encourage you to always heed evacuation, um, um, evacuation um, orders. Uh, so those, uh, those, I'm safe, you can use your social, your text, and you can preset that. So one button, it'll go out to who you determine to let friends and family know, yes, you evacuated, but you are safe. And then it has a map of all the open Red Cross shelters. So it's a very quick way for you to find where you can go and find a safe, warm place in a disaster. Creating that disaster plan, every community member should talk with their family, even with their place of business, and what is your disaster plan? Where are you going to meet? Who you're going to contact. So many people in the Bay Area live in one area, work hours away in another area, and if you're separated from your family and a major event happens, how are you going to connect each other? Having that conversation is very important to have, and it will reduce the anxiety that happens during a disaster. And finally, the assembling that uh, first that disaster kit, first aid, water, food, but also consider medicines. Consider the needs of your pets. If you have young children, if you have those that are elderly that have special needs, all those need to be taken account for in your disaster kit. Thank 